Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Sinister. Today I want to actually show y'all um, something important when you're doing reefer. Now, it ain't just about making sure that your temperature is good, but you also got to make sure that you keep your reefer unit running in good condition. Um, this is the first time I'm doing this video, and I actually want to show y'all, for all of y'all that's looking to get into reefer, <clears throat> the things that you have to check. And this is one of the most important things to check. And um, let me put one of my gloves on. Try to put a glove on, one hand, give me a second. Hold up. Just sit, it, sit the phone right there. So anyway, when you dealing with refrigerated, a refrigerated trailer, there's some things you gotta check. You gotta also make sure you check your belts. One of the things is check your belts. Make sure they tight. You know, make sure they not dry rotted and stuff like that. So, um, up here, you hit this latch and it opens this and it's not gonna open all the way, but up here in the corner, is your antifreeze you gotta check that now to put antifreeze in it is kind of hard and you got belts up here too you want to check so um and you just close it back and it latches so anyway dealing with refrigerated a refrigerated unit right here is an important thing that you must check which is your engine oil. Now, let me switch hands so I can use the hands with the glove. Now, right here, as you can see up here, it says, or you also, but that just shows like, it, it don't got the dipstick. This one right here, let me put that cloth right there, is where you get your dipstick from. So, that's how it looks. Now I'm gonna wipe it off. Cause I gotta put it back in there so I can get a good reading. Now, I put it back in and just pull it back out. And that's like where it's at. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more in there and stuff like that. So it can, uh, you know, keeping in, keep the oil circulating through the components and everything of the engine and stuff like that. Um, here's your hose. You know, you want to check that. It's very dirty in here, but for me to um, show y'all this, I don't mind getting dirty because um, I definitely appreciate all of y'all giving me the support. So basically, um, that's what you check for. Here's your battery over here. You know, make sure your battery connectors is tight. And stuff like that um, it's kind of hard to keep them covered because sometimes a lot of us when it's cold we use jumper cables and we jump it to our trucks to keep the um, the electrical stuff on at night so just double check you know make sure your belts is good get all in there you know here's your belt right here and here's another belt right here that goes to the top and stuff like that. So, and then um, I'm gonna leave this loose because I gotta go in my side box. And I'm gonna show y'all this one. This the top one. You don't really have to put nothing there. You put it down in the bottom because it circulates through the system. I just wanted to show y'all. Um, give me a second. See, it's just the top, and that's all you see in there. It's like the gear. So you can kind of look at the gear and stuff like that. And, um, you know, be very careful when you're doing this. If your reefer unit is um, running, maybe you want to stop it and stuff like that before you do all of this. And my unit's about to start.
So, because I got it on Cycle Century. So, but that's how you do it. And I hope that helped y'all out. All right?